Well, hello there, killer awesome truckers. That's another one of those walking videos. It actually feels nice out here because of that. Because <laughs> it's been doing some raining and, uh, oh, it feels nice. So I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to take advantage of uh, this nice weather. Uh, I think my feet are getting better. Uh, I think I had told you folks that my ankles had swollen pretty bad with uh, fluid. But, and it was painful to, to walk to start off with. And it seems like it's getting a lot better. I'm not having any problems now. It feels normal. Okay, so what are we going to talk about on this video? Well, if you read the, <laughs> if you read the title, you already know. We're going to talk about real truckers. And there has been a video that I saw. I'm like hearing something behind me. Okay, there's no one behind me. <laughs> Must be paranoid. Uh, it's a stalker. Anyway, um, one YouTuber, I don't want to start giving names or anything because I don't want to start pointing fingers. But they are kind of on an attack with another trucker. Like trying to take them down, try to, trying to discredit them. Which, you know, YouTubers or truckers that, that do that, and if you happen to be watching, you suck, okay? There's no need to be going after other truckers. I mean, we should be working together, right? Anyways, I want to talk about, because this, this has been on my mind and something I kind of wanted to bring up uh, on the channel. I've talked about it a little bit here and there. But there are people out there that seem to have a definition of what a real trucker is. Uh, this one YouTuber who's like trying to trying to discredit another is saying yeah you're not a real trucker unless you drive a manual. How stupid is that? I mean really. You're just a steering hole, uh, steering wheel, uh, what's it called? <laughs> steering wheel <laughs> holder. <laughs> I'm stumbling over my own words. So, what, just because you drive an automatic? That is stupid. That's a stupid comment. Whether you drive manual or automatic, you're still a trucker. You're still out on the road. You still got to go make these deliveries, make these pickups. You're dealing with backup situations. You're dealing with crappy drivers on the road. You're in the disrespect that goes on towards truckers in regards to, you know, some of these shippers or companies or whatever. You know, it doesn't matter if you drive automatic or manual. They're going to treat you the same way. So, you're both truckers, as far as I'm concerned. So, just saying that you drive a stick shift, you're a real trucker. And let me ask this question. Who made that up? That's my work phone. <laughs> Smart. See, I'm out for a walk, but I take my work phone with me because I'm dispatch at a security company and I've got officers that call me because things are going on or uh, they just need to talk. I got one officer uh, 
who's I've developed a rapport with her and she's at a site where they are just there are just some challenging situations that she's had to deal with and so she kind of calls me to blow off steam and stuff and that's cool I mean I'm I'm there for them that's why that's why I'm I'm in that chair yeah but so who comes up with these definitions is there a written book somewhere that I don't know about <laughs> maybe there is maybe there is an official book somewhere that says this is a definition of a truck driver um, as far as I'm aware driving a manual is not one of them that is just your opinion <laughs> that's all that is so what's the other term that people use steering wheel holder ah uh. What do we say about that? Well, let me tell you this. For you so-called real truckers out there. How do you drive your truck? Just curious. Is it self-driving? Probably not. Is it voice activated? Yeah, I don't think so. So what do you use to drive the truck? I know this might be a difficult question for you. Let me help you out. It's called a steering wheel. Do you just kind of drive like this with your finger? Maybe you put your head on it and do this? No, I'm pretty sure that you use your hand and you hold on to it. <laughs> All right, what's the other one? Seat warmer. You're not a real trucker. You're a seat warmer. Well, you so-called real truckers out there, unless you are a cold-blooded lizard, maybe you are a visitor. There's a reference. <laughs> unless you're an alien or something, that looks human, I guess it's possible. Um, I'm gonna say that you probably warm that seat. Do you think? If not, let us know. Maybe you're on a secret mission uh, on Earth. Maybe that's it. You're on a secret mission here on earth to train people on what it means to be a trucker you know I never thought of that wow I'm just full of good ideas maybe I should make an AI video of it Ooh, I like that idea <laughs> maybe I'll do that I'll do like a one minute AI video of uh, an alien uh, cargo runner or something that uh, he lost his job and for a new job he decided to go to Earth undercover to teach people. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds stupid. But yeah, you know, not something I just kind of wanted to talk about. I think the thing is all, it's just ridiculous. I mean, whether you drive with a stick or not, Oh yeah, that's another thing. The type of truck that you drive. You're not a real trucker unless you drive a Peterbilt. I guess you're not a real motorcycle rider if you don't ride a Harley. How does that work for cars? You're not a real car driver unless you drive a BMW? <laughs> I don't know. A Tesla? I have no idea who comes up with these definitions. That's what. I, that's what I. That is the. That's the real question. I'm not asking what a real trucker is. 
I want to know where is this information? What's your source? Could you please tell us? <laughs> or did you just get it from YouTube? <laughs> Did you, did you just read comments on another video and we're like, oh, yeah, mm, yeah, I think that, that's a good point. Or do you just think that you're really special? You're more special than other drivers because you drive a Peterbilt, because it's a manual, because you're an alien from another planet that's cold-blooded. The way you act, the way you folks act on the road, you kind of are cold-blooded. Uh, or because you have a voice-activated truck, um, or you've got one of those, uh, you know, mind control things where you can just think uh, of telling the truck what to do and it does it, so you don't really need any controls. Maybe, maybe you are one of those. Could you make some videos? Because I'm, I'm really interested. I want to see that. Oh, you know what? I can make a video. The magic of AI. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> the ideas are forming. Ah. Silly. I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk in the comments below. If you really think that a real truck driver is one that drives manual, I'd really like to hear your reasoning for that and where you got that information. All right. Let's just have a summary of uh, what we've talked about and some things that I hadn't yet covered. What does it take to be a real trucker, according to you? And I'm going to give you my response. You have to drive a Peterbilt. You're not a real trucker unless you drive a Peterbilt. Uh, well, you know, these other trucks... Uh, I think they're trucks, right? The Freightliners, the uh, Kenworth, Volvo, Mack trucks. What's the other one? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, the one I don't want to think about. International. I hate those. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, they're all trucks. Even International is a truck. Uh, it's not a very good truck, but it is a truck. And you say Peterbilt. Well, Peterbilt still makes trucks. They make newer trucks and stuff, and they don't look like the old ones. Do those count? <laughs> You're not a real trucker unless you drive stick shift. Real truckers don't drive automatic. Yeah, you just like to make it difficult for yourself, huh? That stick off to the side. It must give you jollies or something. You gotta have that. You gotta put your hand on a stick. I guess. Uh, that sounds like a personal problem. But, uh, yeah, especially if you're driving. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, whether you're manual or whether you're automatic, it, you still got to deal with stuff on the road. And it's a challenge driving a truck uh, no matter which one it is. And by the way, on automatics, you can kind of switch it to manual. Yeah, I know it's not the same, but you can still switch to manual on it. I've done it. Real truckers have a CB. 
Well, you know, not everyone can get a CB. Not everyone is allowed to have one. Um, these days, you don't really need a CB. If you're good with your uh, with your research and your information, uh, you can get your traffic information ahead of time, weather information ahead of time. Uh, but I will say that it is helpful to have a CB. I have found it helpful. Um, because there are times where uh, it's been helpful that another driver had caught something and said, hey, uh, I don't know if you got a CB, but uh, uh, this, this, that, whatnot, or, you know, someone, you know, driving a different direction saying there is a mess up ahead, this lane's going to be open, um, or they give a warning about weather, how it's a lot worse, or people are getting off at a certain exit, stuff like that. You know, and then sometimes uh, some tr uh, some truckers are just having a fun conversation. That's all rare, though. Most of the time, they just bitch and complain. Like a child. Real truckers. Real truckers don't wear flip-flops. Where have we heard that? <laughs> Where have we heard that one before? You know what? It doesn't really matter what you have on your feet uh, because you need feet to drive a truck. All right. I, what, do you think you have to wear boots or something uh, to be a real trucker? Is, is that it? Let me guess. Uh, uh, you gotta wear boots, blue jeans, and a uh, tucked-in Western shirt with a with a cowboy hat. Right? Is that a real trucker? I, just let me know. Maybe it's in a book uh, for trucker. Maybe they have like fashion styles for truckers or something. Uh, that could be a thing. Um, let me know. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, you gotta you gotta have your feet uh, in order to drive a truck. So. Now, I will say that if you are wearing flip-flops while you are at a shipper or receiver, uh, that could be a safety issue because uh, you could hurt your feet. So you're still a trucker, but you may not be a very smart one. There we go. Real truckers are not company drivers. They don't work for a company. They're an owner-operator. They do everything themselves. You know what? I said this before. Whether you're an owner-operator or a company driver, you still got to get from point A to point B. You still have a shipper to, to deal with. You still have a receiver to deal with. When your truck breaks down, where the trailer breaks down, you still got to deal with it. One comes out of the company pocket. The other comes out of your pocket. Oh, fuel, diesel. One, the company pays for it. Two, you have to pay for it. I don't know. Sounds to me that it's pretty much the same thing. Both types of uh, drivers have to deal with the same kind of thing. Brokers? Okay. Maybe they don't have to deal with brokers. But then who wants to deal with brokers, right? Real truckers don't use a GPS. They use an atlas. An old-fashioned atlas. Well... Let me put it to you this way. An atlas is definitely helpful. Sometimes you get into a situation where you have to find a different route that a GPS doesn't want to doesn't want to give you. I've had that happen. I've you I, I had a uh, atlas with me in the truck 
and I have used it a few times to find a different route. But with that said, a GPS is a tool that can be very helpful. Um, it can give you uh, a better route in some cases. Sometimes it will give you traffic information, which, you know, I'm sorry, a, uh, a paper map ain't going to do that for you. Sometimes you can pull up weather information from a GPS, like a Garmin. Uh, also, Garmin has a add-on with cameras, front-facing cameras, where you can record with, say, oh, hey, Garmin, record that, or save, save that. A GPS uh, will also have a list of like truck stops and stuff that you can that you can go to and like restaurants and things like that things that are helpful um, I guess according to you you need to have like a little book that's got all that information in it okay do you use trucker path on your phone well then <laughs> I guess you're not a real trucker then let me put it to you this way a GPS and an atlas are both very, very helpful. Real truckers don't have a sleeper cab. You must really like to rough it out in that truck. You're sleeping in the chair, you're sleeping across both chairs, you're sleeping on the floor. Uh, outside maybe or maybe the sleeper cab is like really really small have you seen the one the the european ones the cab overs um at least i've i've seen it in euro truck simulator when you like swivel your point of view around that sleeper is like really really short it's got enough room for a bunk and that's it you know it doesn't have like refrigerator you know, and stuff like that in there. But, uh, yeah. So they're both trucks. Uh, one is a little easier to back with than the other. But once again, you still have to do the same stuff. You still got to back a trailer into a dock or into a, um, a, a spot. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to say that real truckers don't don't uh, don't stay at truck stops. You know they pull off to the side of the road, or they find an off ramp or on ramp or something. <laughs> I don't know. That maybe that's new. Maybe that's coming. Real truckers don't have air conditioning. You know that truck gets really really hot inside with the engine and how the heat outside is amplified inside a truck because it's like an oven. Boy, you really must like to suffer inside of a truck. So, I guess if other people aren't as miserable and suffering as you are, I guess they're not real truckers? I don't know. Sounds to me like you're a stupid trucker, but... <laughs> I don't know. Real truckers don't have cruise control. Well, cruise control is actually very helpful to maintain your speed. And if you can maintain your speed, you're going to have better gas. Sorry, not, not gas fuel mileage right there has to be a FedEx truck coming over here making a noise also having a cruise control if you're driving for 8 10 hours or something uh, your feet are going to hurt especially if you're doing that every day throughout the week you know once again 
do you like to suffer? Is, is that it? Now there are some t there are some cases where you should not use a cruise control. It's not safe. Uh, probably construction zones. All right. Inside a city or a town. In traffic. Not just one or two cars. All right. I'm, I'm talking about a lot of traffic. Okay. That's all that I have. What did I miss? I'm sure you'll tell me. So. Let me tell you what I think a real trucker is. A real trucker is an old fart that is miserable and likes to suffer. <laughs> that's a real trucker. <laughs> if that's the case, I'd rather just be a trucker. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that I feel, all right? And some of you might agree with this. Truck drivers who take their 30 minute break at the fuel island, those aren't truckers. Those aren't even real truckers. They're just assholes. Anyways, that's all I got. So, thanks for watching. I've got a lot of stuff on the channel, a lot of new projects. If you're in the sports and game, uh, like sports video games and stuff, I started to add that to the channel. I'm not the greatest of sports games, but <laughs> I wanted to add something new. Um, and there's just some fun AI projects that I've been working on, some AI conversions of uh, show openings and stuff, which turn out kind of weird. And interesting and kind of funny at some at, in some cases but yeah uh, go around and take a look at the stuff that's on there we'll see you next time have a killer awesome day